Welcome to Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines. We are in Lincoln, Nebraska, where tonight the Oklahoma Sooners take on the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. You know, as far as series uh, that we have had that have gone on for years, this one may be as storied as any in college football. The reason for that, huge names as far as players, huge names as far as coaches. And the, the wonderful thing tonight is this one takes on a little different flavor. Like, I'm not sure we're looking at a high-scoring affair. We'll show you a couple of guys, Gerald McCoy and... In Domican Sioux for Nebraska, these two guys, not just two of the best, but as Ed Cunningham joins me here on the telecast, these fellows who both wear number 93, and these guys could be both in the top five of the NFL draft next year. And one of the things you look at when you're grading these guys is what are the players around them? Do their level come up? And you mentioned Jared Crick. He plays right next to Indomitian Sioux. He's Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week. We asked Sue yesterday, what did you tell Jared coming into the season? What did you expect out of him and the guy who's jumped out all year long is Jeremy Beal. Beal had a stretch of two games where he had three sacks, five tackles for loss last week against Kansas State. So it's not just McCoy on that side of the line either. Bo Pelini, and who would have known 25 years ago, two young guys from Youngstown, Ohio, show the quarterback profile. Talk about Cody Green. Young man who was brought in when uh, the running game was struggling. Mentioned Helu battling that shoulder injury. Zach Lee more the passer. Cody Green, he's got a good arm, but he is really in here because they can add a little Nebraska. And Dontravius Robinson will get some time. The true freshman had to come in for Halu quite a bit the last few games. He will get some run. Niles Paul needs to have a big game. He's their deep threat. Struggled with had a big fumble against Iowa State. And Alex Henry, an amazing kicker. He has made 24 straight kicks. To the Oklahoma Sooners, Bob Stoops, 4-1 career against Nebraska. Of course, now he is the man. Sam Bradford had surgery on that shoulder. Out for the year, most likely headed to the NFL. Had a wonderful game last week against Kansas State. Ryan Broyles, we've already seen punt return. He's going to move all around the field, an electric player. DeMarco Murray, who missed Kansas, came back against Kansas State with three touchdowns, good in the run and pass game. And Dominique Franks, who had an interception, returned for a touchdown last year against Nebraska. Jones, ball batted at the line of scrimmage, and then almost caught by Oklahoma and dropped. It's uncanny how many times Nebraska, and of course, the illegal hands to the face was missed there. Tip by Allen. Yeah. This will be the first attempt at a field goal by Tressway. 46 yarder. Poised and ready. Gets a good pass, and he missed it. He pushed it off to the right. Actually, being a left footer, he yanked it with his headgear on. Cody Green pitches the ball back as the flag comes down. And Halo hurdles a man. He did not pick up the first down, but Keenan Clayton, he just climbed him like a ladder. Will be holding. Personal foul. Mm. Shot block. Number 78 and 64 of the offense. 15 yard penalty. First down. Well, that's right tackle Marcel Jones. I believe they mean 74 right guard. A player is engaged. The second player could not come in and hit him low. If he does. It is a chop block. Well, it was 74. Started last year in Norman, and so this year they have uh, held one here in Lincoln. And it looks as though it's going to become an annual thing as Halu gets that shovel pass just five yards deep in the end zone. OU's coming after him. He gets the kick away. Another wobbly spiral taken at the 46 by Broyles and Broyles changes direction 45 40 inside the 35 and he's down to the 30 yard line and Broyles proves again his real importance to this football team. Pressure. Middle screen the ball almost intercepted Barry Turner let Crick go. And even though it's a screen, you just can't give the guy a free run at the quarterback. And here comes Tressway again. To home. It's going to be a 45-yard attempt, this time from the left hash mark. Blocked. Nebraska 
Ventress Way has to kick it right through this area here because he's on the left hash. So who do you line up there? Well, probably a pretty good idea to put 93 Sue. Great timing. He, he's just got such a feel for the game. Remember that interception he had against Missouri? He needs consistency as far as catching the ball. And it's so hard because Gerald McCoy, they're trying to cut block him. They get him down. Does a good job here spinning out. But watch the adjustment by McCoy. He knows the cut block is coming. And that's how he puts his hand down. And that pass rush before, Green had to get rid of it so fast. Both of their possessions after punch have taken the ball across midfield. It's a better coverage kick. Very high, and he is collided with, and the flag goes down. Kick catch interference on the kicking team. 15-yard penalty. It is first down. Penalties against Nebraska. And for Nebraska, well, they didn't quite give up uh, over midfield. On the well, that's right. possession. <laughs> 49 so and a half. The, You're right. <laughs> DeMarco Murray hit at the line of scrimmage, and that is Indomitian Sue. They're not <laughs> booing, but they're saying Sue on that one. We go and back to the play before, Ron. Sorry about that. But he's no, just, no, no. It's not your fault. He's so good with his hands. Look how he just sheds good. When he gets his hands inside of you, blitz coming off the left corner, right at the middle. Taken down, and that is a linebacker blitz, and it's Dillard. Did not even play the first two ball games of the season. Was struggling at that middle linebacker spot. Before Virginia Tech, they moved him to Will linebacker. Is the third defensive end that comes in and spells English or Beal. And he said, if if I had, if, if those guys didn't play at that high level the entire game, I would rotate them. Running play. Is not going to have it. It's going to be fourth down. Nebraska. Ryan Reynolds. Best kick of the night. Wow. This one may go to the fairgrounds. And now it takes a Nebraska bounce and is going to go out of bounds or go dead at the two yard line. Listen to this crowd. Pressure. Sue. Ball tipped by Sue and almost intercepted. Not only does he share the lead for tackles with his team, but look at the read and the vertical jump. This guy is such a wonderful athlete. The opening quarter, and as we head to period number two, no score. This uh, this graphic with these zeros in it and have a little laugh and say, well, let's hope it's better than that. Well, <laughs> not it's a not a whole lot better than that. <laughs> Twenty two total yards in a quarter of play. Well, we had what one first down between the two teams. Yeah, a little different Big 12 this year than it was last year, isn't it? And they have the ball at the 42 yard line of OU blitz coming from deep in the secondary pass over the middle. Nobody home. Well. And he kicks it for the sideline, bounds and picked up. That was a great kick. Touch dead at the eight yard line by Lester Ward. Shovel pass. That's Brown. That is a great defensive play by Philip Dillard. So Dillard now with a couple of plays. Oklahoma scrimmages from their own eight yard line. Jones drills the ball. It is intercepted. Anu Kamari. And he is still on his feet at the 10. Inside the 5. And down to the 1. Receiver, top of your screen. Does a wonderful job of reading Tanel's route. Able to put your hands on beyond 5 yards in college football. He did that redirected Tanel. And then he saw the move that he was making cut right in front of it. Timing and it, and was if he, perfect. If he hadn't run into Dillard, his home teammate, he might have scored. Dillard made a heck of a tackle, didn't he? <laughs> Watch this. Right there. <laughs> Come in at quarterback and not surprised by this. Cody Green looked like he looked like a true freshman on that last drive. So not surprised at all that the junior more experienced comes in. on Zach, a junior out of San Francisco. Play action. Throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Huskers. Ryan Hill. Jones.
nice pass. Little too far, and here comes the flag yeah. from way downfield. O'Hanlon well, got there just a touch earlier. Pass interference, number 33 of the defense. 15 yard penalty. It is first down. The difficult thing is they had dropped OU for a four yard loss. They were making them play behind the chains, and this ball in and out of the hands of Tunnell. And Tunnell is down. And that's a clean hit. He, he did not lead with his head. He did not target the defense's player if the shoulders are above. His head is up, his shoulder into his midsection. Literally so a completely, cross yeah. body block. Jones, heavy pressure, throws it away. And that is Indonikan Sue. And watch the slide protection. Everyone's sliding to their left, and it's going to leave Stephen Good one on one. And it just, you just can't do it. You've got to give help on Sue. Whatever you have to do. And Dominican Sue, and right now he needs to raise it up again. A setback. Pass caught at the 41 yard line by Broyles, and that's enough for the Oklahoma first down. Murray, left side, first down, Oklahoma, at about four or five more. Or five more. Flag comes down, and that is going to be a late block, I believe. Almost out of bounds. Personal foul, late hit, number 71 in the offense. 15 yard penalty, first down. Started to say they had a chief first down, and it was a post play foul. He's a dynamic guy. He ran for over 100 yards against Baylor. He had 116 yards catching against Texas. He could do so many things. Jones, ball caught at the 30-yard line, and the tackle made immediately. That is Cameron Kenny. Third and six. Here comes pressure. Jones gets it away, and it is caught at the 20-yard line. Go fast here. Great play by Landry Jones, but they bring the fullback in, Matt Clapp. What an excellent job by Jones. Murray hit behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be Nebraska taking the ball over. By the way, that stoppage just a moment ago was a clock malfunction. They got it squared away. Pedro breaks it out. 40, 50, cuts over, cuts again. 30, 20, 15, and finally clocked from behind by Austin Box. 63 yards. Lee pitches the ball loose, scramble for it, and I believe Oklahoma has made the recovery. That just went right through Helu's hands. A flag is down. Gerald McCoy comes up with the football. Illegal formation on the offense. Too many men in the backfield. That penalty is declined. First down. He stretches it out and it just it goes right through Halu's hands. He, he just he may have been trying to look at the defenders we talked about at the top uh, for Sue that those numbers don't uh, don't tell the whole story block field goal tipped pass uh, on a uh, on a screen just been all over the field and also a blocked field goal yep. for uh, and Dominican Sue yeah. quickly came off the bench and is back out on the field pass in the flat caught by Murray what an open field tackle Philip Dillard this young man is having some kind of football game tonight high and took him down Jones heavy pressure gonna be hit and will not get away he'll be sacked and this one may be shared by all four of the front four seven to nothing Nebraska low pass to Jones pass over the middle is caught at the 45 yard line by Kenny behind Miller who was just running the slant they have already snapped it faked the run and the pass over the middle is caught at the 40 yard line by Broyles and he'll pick up another seven yards after that first and 10 OU at the 32 yard line swings it out to Murray Murray cuts it back inside and is going to be tackled short of the mark 
Philip Dillard again with a key defensive play for Nebraska. One earlier and had one blocked against Indomik and Sue. I started to say, let's see where Sue is lined up because there he is, right in the middle, which should be just about the flight path of the ball. 28 yard field goal attempt. Good pass. The kick is up. And he got it. Squeezed it in. You know, he cost his team last year against Virginia Tech in a ball game that he got a penalty. At some point, he's got to settle down. Little one halftime report. John. 80 yards total for Nebraska. They made a change at quarterback. They came out and started with the true freshman, Cody Green. He did not look great. So Zach Lee came in, but that 63 of those 80 came on that. Blitz and a stunt and a sack. Keenan Clayton. First time that they have recorded a sack that got up slow. So he put three guys over him. And uh, he rushed four to that side, actually. Jones on second down. That ball almost picked off and it was caught. Caught in the play by Dewan Miller and the gamble. Big body guy at 6'4, 224, shielding off the smaller dinner. Pumped it twice. Now going to go long. Near sideline and the ball is incomplete and flags come down from two different areas as Tanell was the guys if this isn't against Tanell. Pass interference. Number 21 in the defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. And Tanell came back. He ran the out and up. Great coverage. We're taking him to x-ray him. Have not heard anything as yet. Jones high over the middle intercepted by Nebraska. And that's O'Hanlon. Up the sideline to the 45 and finally knocked out of bounds. Second time that Jones has been intercepted tonight. Brooks in motion. Pelu tries to turn the corner. And. And. Franks and boy here come flags down from the back side of the play. After the play personal foul number 84 of the defense 15 yard penalty first down. Frank Alexander that's a big one. Is Robinson and they fake it to the freshman pass in the flat the ball is blocked and it's Franks who got a hand on it. How many passes have we had batted this evening. What are we saying? 18 or 19. Let's call it 19. So a 29 yard attempt. Nailed it. Let's take a timeout. New score. Huskers team. This has been a big weekend as far as legendary names and faces being back on campus. Madhu in the kick return. He gets tagged short of the 15 yard line. Sooner coaching staff asking for a possible pass interference, but no flag came, and it's third down and ten. Boy, here comes more pressure, and the ball had to be thrown early. And it was Hannah, the man I was talking about, who had just checked in. Throw it, but because you get there so quickly, it's not there. It's the risk reward you take, and they got the reward. Pressure up the middle, and I'll tell you, they almost knocked the blockers back into the punter. This is a dandy, though. All the way to the 15 yard line is Paul looking for some place to run. Gets a block, 25, and will not get to the 30. Well, they're going to call a penalty on Gomes, and I think this is a bad call. It looked to me like Gomes got on the side. During That's the return, not the call there. Illegal block in the back. But Number watch. Seven, the return team. seven on 32. That's not a block in the back. You can hit the guy in the shoulder. Blitz coming up the middle, and Robinson has no place to run. That's Travis Lewis. Jones has missed his last four passes. See if he can get this one. He does. Got to complete to Boyles. Boyles goes airborne, but he's short of the first down by a couple. It's fourth and just a little bit over one. Running play with Brown, and it's whistled down, and it's going to be movement before the snap. 
Prior to the snap, false start, number 71 of the offense, five-yard penalty. Of course, that's left tackle Trent Williams who's struggling tonight with penalties, but I can understand on that fourth and one. Sue had a block back in the first half. Good pass from center, and he's missed this one. Mm -hmm. You know, Jimmy Stevens was perfect, 11 for 11 inside of 40 yards. Something more serious. That's the end of the third quarter. Let's take a timeout. Huskers 10-3. And only 112 yards of offense. But the reason this score is at 10-3 is because Amukamura had the interception of the two-yard line, and then O'Hanlon got one out of the ball game. They don't have anybody to replace him. Murray. Bounces off the tackler, bounces off another one, and stepped out of bounds at around the 41-yard line. Murray, a guy who just adds a little different wrinkle. Brown is such a good inside runner, and Murray has really uh, improved his power run. Murray hit inside by Pierre Allen. Now here comes a flag, and there was some late goings on. Well, Jarvis Jones and Indomitian Sue were tangled up. After the play, personal foul, number 76 of the offense. Wow. 15 yard penalty, second down. So take a look at it. You see the double team going on. And Sue continues to be pushed, and then yep. gets pushed one more time. Jones looking up the near sideline, and the ball is caught at the 40-yard line by DeWan Miller. Well, this is a nice throw by Jones on Miller. 32 yards in the pass play. Play action. Jones wants to throw again over the middle. Intercepted. And that is O'Hanlon, his second pick of the night. 10-3, Nebraska. He's a very calm guy. He, he, they, they talk about it. He's very steady, very much like Sam Bradford in that way. And they can't lose his confidence. Not a good night so far. 10-3. We have about to hit 12 minutes left in this ball game. Out in the flat. Hello. 25 at the 30. That's a first down. And he stays in bounds. Seven for 35 yards throwing tonight. Under pressure, sack. That's uh, Jeremy Beal. Family and the influence on both of their lives. It's just really tremendous. Long pass, almost intercepted at the 25 by Brian Jackson. But mistake that the Stoops brothers and the Pellini brothers, Brian Jackson almost makes an interception, which would have been just like a punt. Yes. Those guys don't come back there in a real good mood. Got this one complete. 40, 45 to Marco Murray. And Murray has become such a huge asset. It took a while to develop. Landry Jones to the other side. Murray breaks the tackle. Going to have the first down, plus about five. Jones, great protection, ball thrown complete, and knocked out of bounds at the 27-yard line is Brian, Orion Broyles and the Cornhuskers. All 10 points off turnovers for Nebraska tonight. Jones over the middle, and the ball is just a little bit behind Murray. Couldn't hold on. Jarvis Jones and just throws him into Landry Jones. Blitz coming up the middle. Pass, far sideline, incomplete. Pass incomplete. You have to be there to fill the gap. Hello is loose again and going to be ridden out of bounds by Jonathan Nelson, but not before he reaches. Hello. And he will take it to around the 26. That will mean 33, about a 43 yard field goal. Attempt. Good pass, and he missed it. He pushed that thing to the right, and it is still a one score ball game. Said no. Third down, four of 16 are the Sooners, and make it five of 17 as the pass was caught, and he'll pick up the first down. 
And it came with a blitz off the corner. And the pass in his head as he throws. And a late flag has come in from deep in center field. Yeah, they're, I think they're getting no handling for holding. That's what they're calling. Whoa. And these are smart enough football fans here, as are the Oklahoma fans when you're playing down in Norman. That <laughs> There it is there. The ball's in the air. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. And, and as long as it's holding, the penalty's going to stand. But pass interference. <laughs> Pressure up the middle. Hit as the ball is thrown. And it's almost intercepted by O'Hanlon who went diving for it. Sure does. Look at the pressure from Sue right oh. here. He will collide with the quarterback. Brown with the run. Stops short. Jared Crick. Sooners trail by a touchdown. Jones looking. Pressure from the backside. And the ball is tipped and intercepted. And it's Diller. And Landry Jones had nowhere to go. That Crick. was his only read. Crick is the man who got a hand on it. Crick tips the ball. Oscar in tight to help block. Here comes the snap and he gets the kick away. Wobbly driving spiral taken by Boyles at the 16. Gets a block. Comes to the sideline. Gets another block. And steps out of bounds on the near sideline. Wow. What an electric, electric player. Crowd coming to life. Sue with the hit and the ball almost intercepted. And that was O'Hanlon. This time they roll the pocket. And he puts this one airborne. And it is intercepted at the six yard line. And it is O'Hanlon with his third. The Hail Mary throw with 28 seconds left. Well, he'll have to take one knee. He goes forward. That's the last play of the ball game. Oklahoma cannot stop the clock. And the Nebraska Cornhuskers are going to win. Suggested off the top of the telecast was capable of winning the ball game. It was Nebraska 10 and Oklahoma 3. Now